as Israel lost it, its, its deterrence when you see these rockets hitting a very large city in the south of the country. Well, of course, we are in a very miserable situation in the south with Gaza. It's not the rocket was the, the highlight of uh, the last uh, few days, but of course, with the uh, ongoing uh, fires coming uh, out of the with balloons or with other uh, means uh, coming out to the all the territory, all the area uh, around surrounding Gaza Strip, and uh, people are living there under constant fires and smoke, and it's like terrible, terrible situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is all a result of the non-doing of Netanyahu. Uh, government. Yeah, I mean, a, seriously, it's, a, it's, a Gaza. it's it's the result of the fact that since 2014, after Tsukaitan, we could have had an initiative. We could have had a change in the area. With the Israeli government need to be a, 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 the leading, the leader of some change. But we are now just withdrawing with the, with what Hamas is uh, throwing at us. Okay, Aaron Klein, I want to let you in. Go ahead. Okay, are we serious right now? We're blaming Bibi Netanyahu while Hamas has been organizing border riots against Israel, has been sending incendiary balloons, is now firing rockets uh, into central Israel. The tit for tat has to stop here, though. Israel is feeding into this by even continuing to negotiate, while on the other hand, Hamas is leading a war against it. Um, and I'll tell you, I think Hamas is very nervous right now about the economic situation in the Gaza Strip. You've got Qatar pouring in fuel, bypassing Hamas, bypassing the Palestinian Authority. Uh, and Hamas has to turn the anger of the Palestinian population against somebody. And so they're trying to turn it against Israel. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, and by the way, I'm also wondering if Iran is sort of hijacking what's going on in the Gaza Strip as well, because they're very nervous right now in Syria. And it looks like they might be telling Hamas to light things up in Gaza. But to blame Bibi is ridiculous, other than at least to okay. say that okay. Israel government should reestablish the terms and smash Hamas. For not taking any initiative in moving forward. Well, what do you expect this him is, to do? Look, there are many things he could do, and what he's doing right now is only responding and giving the Hamas the lead in terms of being the most extremist in the area. We, he's we talking with them. Why are, talking are, are with we, them? Are we, allow, are we allowed to say the earth is flat? What initiative I mean, that's, that's precisely exactly is being, being said Wait a minute, Aaron, I want to let Mark, Mark finish his thoughts. What's happening in Gaza is the fault of people who pushed for land for peace. This, the Gaza is the ultimate indictment of the two-state policy. Everything that's happened in Gaza is the fault of people who pushed for Israeli withdrawal. Nothing else. That is the historical blame that these people must bear. And you know, I maybe it sounds a bit radical, but, but there is a stark option. Over time, in the long run, there will either be Arabs in Gaza or Jews in the Negev. But there won't be both, mm -hmm. because we've seen no matter no, every every time the Palestinians, uh, every every time the Palestinians develop some kind of uh, uh, aggressive uh, uh, aggressive aggressive tactic, Israel finds a defense. The Palestinians find another aggressive tactic. Israel finds a defense. Whether okay. it's, there, there were terrorist right. attacks, we put up a fence. We put up a fence. They shot rockets. We had the Iron Dome, so they dug tunnels. Right. So we put on a billion-dollar barrier. So they're flying kites it's and drones. It's never ending, and, isn't it's, it? and, it's, and it's, it's only and it's only it's, a matter of time until they send a drone with a non-conventional. Uh, uh, and then Israel will, will figure something to do about that technologically, won't they? But mostly. I think it is amazing, you know, left wing is not in power here in the last 16 years. Mm -hmm. Netanyahu is prime minister for a decade. Right. And still everything, every problem, the right wing and the government said yeah. it's them, it's the, the left wing, wing. The it's the left wing, it's the Hamas. I did not vote for Hamas. Right. I ask Netanyahu to deal with the problems, if he doesn't know how to deal with them, because he, say, he said he knows. Yeah. He said after, uh, uh, in, after the war in 2014, he says, okay. we are going to have an agreement wanna, with right, moderate right. Arab states. I, it's a lack of strategy. There is uh, absolute uh, lack That's of strategy. We're just agree with. following what Hamas is doing, want, and we're just responding. I want to ask, I want to ask Aaron, Aaron, I mean, it seems like we might have avoided a war here, but we also avoided, avoided a diplomatic solution. You know, there's just this complete stagnation. Can this go on forever? Is it is it sustainable? First of all, I mean, let's stop blaming Israel for this. Let's take a step back and look at Israel's evacuation of the Gaza Strip, where American Jews paid $13 million to send over those greenhouses to the Palestinians. And within a few hours, 
they ripped them out and allegedly used some of the components to fire rockets into Israel. That is the larger scheme of things here. Um, but you look at a diplomatic stalemate, yes, there absolutely is one because the Palestinians have refused every single Israeli offer for a decade now. And so there has to be larger thinking. And I think that the prime minister and also the American president understand that. Mm. Um, and that's why they're bypassing right now the Palestinian okay. Authority. That's why hopefully they'll bypass Hamas. Uh, they're going to the larger Arab uh, world that I think doesn't really, uh, is very frustrated at Mahmoud Abbas. And the Palestinians have to learn. And so they're learning by Israel uh, not talking to them. They're learning by the United States moving the embassy to Jerusalem. Ah. And they're learning oh. by the U.S. and Israel going to other Arab partners, uh, in this case working even with Qatar, to try to help the economy in Gaza. So okay. there is an initiative now, and that is to bypass Hamas, bypass the Palestinian Authority, All right, and at least hope the PA comes back to the bargaining table.